Hey, this is Dr. Grego back again, and we're talking about the difference between the nutritional ketogenic diet, the paleo diet, and Atkins diet. So basically, Atkins, we'll start off there. Atkins has a high protein, low carbohydrate approach to the diet, and unfortunately, if you're trying to get fat adapted to where your body's used to burning fat, then you won't be able to do it on Atkins diet because too much protein or above moderate amounts of protein can produce what's called gluconeogenesis. And basically that's where the protein molecule is made up of amino acids and amino acids that you don't use can leach out into the blood and create uh, glucoamides where are sugars. And so at that point, you're no longer fat adapted because your brain and your body would prefer to burn sugar as far as an easier form of fuel, um, but it would really be healthier on a fat burn source of fuel. So the second diet then is the paleo diet, our ancestral diet, you know, what we all came up from. And uh, they, have, uh, they have real obstacles against dairy, cream cheese, um, they allow a moderate amount of carbs, anywhere from 20 to 40% of carbs. Again, they'll get you to burn some fat, but it's actually to be keto adapted or fat adapted. That's not going to happen on the paleo diet either because of the uh, liberal amount of uh, well, protein that they allow and also the fact that they're not going to allow the cheeses and the heavy whipping cream and you know that 150 to 200 grams of carbs that one would need uh, to primarily make your fuel source fat. And so that leaves us with ah, the nutritional ketogenic diet. And of course that's what we're proposing here, that's what we're, we're putting our patients on our Fit Forever program, which is now Keto for Life program. And um, we hope that you, if you have any questions, please give me a, a shout out right here on Facebook and I'll be happy to answer any and all questions. Hope you guys have an outstanding day.